Hello again. Now in this video, you can see I'm sporting a bit of a Kim Jong-un haircut. That's because the girlfriend had a go at cutting it. It was the first time, but it's not bad for a first effort. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between an association frame and a reassociation frame. And I'm going to do a demo by walking around between the APs with a phone. So uh, I'll show you that now. Okay, now I've got two APs here, one at the front of the house and one at the back. And what I'm doing is a packet capture over here on the screen to, and just filtering for association frames and reassociation frames. So I'm going to do the walkthrough here to um, do a roam and we'll have a look at what actually got captured on Wireshark. So here we go. Okay, now I'm at the front of the house near an AP, so I'm going to join the network. So first of all, I'll just associate to the network and Wireshark will probably show that, but I'll go through Wireshark when I finish this. So now I'm on the network and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roam to the back of the house. Okay, because there's an AP out the back here, which should be better suited for the phone. So I'm out the back here now and I've got an AP, if you just look up there, I've got an AP up there and I'm out the back here. So I'm not looking at Wireshark at the moment, but it's a fair assumption that now that I'm out here, it would have reassociated to this AP. So what I'll do now is go back to the front and reassociate to that AP. And if I have a quick sticky beak, I can see that I reassociated, and I've already reassociated to the front one, okay, because I'm, I'm going to see all the Wireshark there. Okay, so they're reassociations as I roam between APs. Okay, and this time I'm going to do the same thing, but following that I'm going to walk out and leave the network. So I'm at the front of the house associating to the network. Okay, so I've just joined, and now what I'm going to do is walk out the back, or at least until I see the reassociation happen. Okay, so just walk out the back here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, out here, um, I'm out the back, so I would have reassociated by now, I imagine. So what I'll do is I'll come back towards the front. Yeah, I reassociated to the back. Now, I've reassociated to the front. Now what I'll do is I'll continue, I'll just come out here and I'll actually leave the network, okay? So, as I'm walking out for fresh air or something, okay? So, can hardly see the bloody thing. So I've still got the wireless on. I haven't actually turned it off or anything. I've just, just been walking away until it stops. Trying to get one over, okay. Okay, so now I'll go back inside and if the camera keeps pointing at me, Okay, so now I'm walking back inside, and at some point it'll see the APs and, and join the network. So I've just joined. Okay, so what I'm pretty sure would have happened, I don't know what would have happened, it would have done an association, which I'll check on Wireshark and uh, go through with you. And there it is. So what I'll do now is I'll go through Wireshark closely and show you all what happened there at the um, packet capture. Okay, now if I have a look at the packet capture, you can see when I joined the network, I joined on the front AP, so you can see the association request. Then when I roamed to the back of the house, I joined the back AP. Now, it was a reassociation request. And you can see a bit of inf extra info in that reassociation request. It has the current AP. Now, in effect, that means the AP you just came from. So I just came from the front AP, and it just has that information in the reassociation request. So then when I roamed back to the front, the reassociation request has the current AP as the back one, because that's where I just came from. Now this gap here was when I walked out the front of the house and down the street, so I left the whole network. And then when I came back on, it was an association request, not a reassociation, because I had actually dropped off the network altogether while I was walking down the street. So there's the difference between the association request and the reassociation request. Okay, so there it is. That's the difference between an association and a reassociation frame. Now, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. Uh, if not, I'll catch you next time with another video. See ya.